previously on Brick Attack. You know what we should do now, Clark, ma'am? We should combine these together to make a super street sweeper. It'll be our next mock. Maybe we can do something with this and turn it into something really cool. Stay tuned for a future update on that. Mock attacked, becoming a thing. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have something to share with you that I haven't done in a long time in this channel, and that is to make a custom Lego build. This is something I've been wanting to get back into, and the other day when we built this set, this is Lego City 60249 Street Sweeper, gave me the idea to combine two of these together to make a super street sweeper, and I finally had a little bit of time last night to sit down and work on that, and that's exactly what I did. So I thought in today's video, I'll share my little custom build with you guys. I think the best way to start this off is to show you what the original model looked like. This is the Street Sweeper as built in 60249, and it's a cute little model. As you can see, it's very tiny. This is the guy sitting inside there, and you can see the back's pretty small. It gets the job done. I like the scale of it. I think it looks really neat. But when you have two of these, I think it makes sense to see what you can do combining them together, especially considering I think this naturally translates itself to being a little bit longer at least. And as you can see here, I do have a lot of pieces left over, so I didn't use everything for this, but I did end up accomplishing my goal, which is to make the Super Street Sweeper. And the first thing you probably notice when you look at this are the little side things here. I don't know what we want to call these. Clark and I were calling them car wash pieces, but as you can see here, they both still roll. And I kind of just extended the base of this by quite a bit. So it's looking real nice there. And then on the back here, I did more of the same. I have this back area. I guess the containment area is much bigger and I love those printed pieces on the side. They're on both sides. So you can see this side all the way back here and it goes back here to the back. I didn't change anything in the back of this, at least up at the top here. You've got the shovel and you've got the broom. The door still opens and closes, which one-handed attack is, I'm sure, going to struggle. <laughs> That's classic. We'll just put that back on there and pretend it didn't happen. In fact, this is a good opportunity to show you the back of this. So we've got some tail lights back here. I extended those down a little bit, so they're a little bit bigger. And then the bumper, the reason that bumper is so large like that is because I wanted to keep this all kind of like the same level under here. I really like to have clean lines and Lego and colors working out as well. So this green line that goes across here, I wanted to have all the way across the back. The only place that that doesn't really extend to is the front here where this piece is. And the major change that I made out here, this had to be at a certain level. So I had to work this out a little bit to stay up a little bit higher, but I also put lights on the front here. So that comes out a little bit further than what you'll see on the front of the box here. But I kind of like mine better because now you have those lights there. I kept that the same on top. And on the top of this, the back is kind of just extended the same way that it would have been naturally. And everything kind of works out and lines up really well. I think this looks really great with the dual wheels on the back. That's something that I think would have really help this set out and I guess keep it from looking, you know, cute like this one is. That's a cute little build, but this looks more like something you would find in a Lego, actual Lego city. Minus, I mean, I think this is excessive. I probably, like if I was actually building this where I wasn't trying to make the super street sweeper or whatever, I probably would just have one of those kind of in the middle there. But I do like the dual back wheels and I like the bigger containment unit on the back here. I did add this shovel and the broom up to the front as well. Since I had some extra pieces there, I thought I would do that. And as you can see here, this still works properly. This still moves. And if you want to open the front of this up, it kind of comes off like that. This, I was trying to figure out a way that I can make this all kind of click in and stay on. So that unfortunately has to come off with the front of this. And there's nothing that I can do to really change that. I tried working it out with this, but with the pieces that I'm given, and again, I have a lot left. There's just nothing that would really work to keep that in there. So when you are taking your guy in and out, it can come apart a little bit. And I would say those are the two weaknesses. I also, let me, I guess while I have this open here, I also added another one by one tile there as well and kept the steering wheel kind of where it's at. I think he may have moved forward one spot. On the original one, this windshield here would be all the way in the front. So you wouldn't have been able to have those lights there. And then the steering wheel would have sat right there where the windshield is. So that's why that's like that. But I think it looks better this way and gives a little bit more space in the cab. And I think it looks really nice. I'm curious to see what you guys think. I don't do a whole lot of this, but it's something that I really enjoy. I love the concept of taking a Lego set and maybe adding pieces from your collection or maybe building or taking more than one of the set and adding it to make it a little bit nicer and more of what you like. I think for, for me, this could have went from you know, a $10 set. I don't know if I would pay 20 for this. I think that's a little steep, but if I take all these extra pieces and maybe make like a piece of filler, like Lego typically does, you could probably bump this up to a $20 set. But for now we just have a bunch of extra pieces. Now that I'm looking here too, and you've got, oh shoot. I was going to say you could build a vehicle out of this, but we only got one set of wheels. Cause I did use the, I used the third set back here. So, huh. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas for what I could build out of these extra pieces, I'm sure there's something there that I could build. Maybe like a little office building or something. 
using the windshield piece as a window. I think that'd be kind of a fun extra thing to do. But for this, I just wanted to show you guys my super street sweeper with the dual brushes on the side. That's what they are, brushes. And then the, the front still looks good. I did attempt to put an extra one of these on the front, but it would have really made this thing outrageously long. And I think that would have kind of messed up the look of it. I could also probably have done this too, if you wanted to put one of these on the back. I do have a little bit of space down there in the green that I could have worked this in, but I don't know how functionally that would have worked, but it would have been kind of neat. And I guess, you know, if you're, if you're talking about making this thing look outrageous, that's probably outrageous enough. So that's probably the one thing that I would change is adding that in there and making this thing even more ridiculous than it is. But that's it. That's my little build here. Again, this is something that I want to get more into is taking sets like this and doing little fun things with them. I think it's a nice little bonus and something unique to share rather, rather than just showing the set that pretty much everyone's sharing and giving my opinion on it. Do this and then I can get your opinion on it. So thank you guys so much for watching us. Hope you enjoyed this little remock, rebuild, whatever you want to call this. And uh, I'll be doing plenty more of these in the future. If you have any requests when we build a set, let me know and I'll be happy to do more. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next mock video.